Hello everybody. Okay, today I am going to be showing you something from Photoshop CS5 again. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D star. Today, okay, so you want to type in your text. I read in star. You can use anything, any color, really. That's mind. Then you want to go to 3D. You want to go to Reposy, something like that. Fifth one down, 3D. And then you want to go and click text layer, like so. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, then it should be coming up as 3D. Then you want to go all the way down to the bottom, all the way down, and click on the middle one. Yes, that one right there. And then it should look really retarded. And then you want to go to twists. And type in minus 1595.9. And then that would sort of bring up a, if you turn it, bring up a star shape. As you can see there, you can sort of see the star. But if you don't want it being plain black, you can see all of them are black. You want to go to sides. Then you want to go and click any material. I use the checkered one brings out a nice glossy sort of color you can choose any you really want but I prefer the checkered one and then you can go if you don't want the black and the white you can change colors so go scene settings go lighting and see it says custom you can change to anything um, there's lust is Mardi Gras I like that one it's sort of mixed colors nice uh, night lighting, primary colors, purple phase, very fluorescent. I like it. I rarely use it though, but I still like it. Um, what else is there? There's um, CAD optimize, a gray black color. There is also blue lights. It's a really pale light blue, white color with black. It's all right. I've never used it before. I think I might use it here and there. There's fire. And once you pick chose picking your colour, just press OK. And then it should load right there. And then then that means you can start using it. But bloody hell. Oh my god. Okay, since I stuffed the screen, I'm just gonna put it back to fit the screen. And as you can see, you can pretty much click and move it anywhere you can move it after I press enter there we go you can move it up down like like so you can make it smaller like bigger so see how the top it's been cut out on the top and the side it's because of the template and where I position my text I made a bit of a mistake there but next time I won't and um because and if you like this video and want me to do it again please like subscribe and comment and thank you for watching my first or my third gfx um <laughs> my third gfx video thank you and